Oh, we've got a little bit of clapping oh, going on here. here as well. <laughs> and it's tomorrow. Oh, oh. <laughs> See, they can't be here because it's actually yesterday, which was tomorrow, which is the next week. That's right. <laughs> and I'm not really here. I'm home in bed. Um, astral projecting like, oh, charmed on Charm. Tuesday night. Oh, I that was fruit. so good. I love fruit. That was so good. Ooh. Now, let's introduce uh, Troy and Peter. Hi, guys. Hello, hey. How are you? Here again. I know I was charmed. Hey, oh, how could you not? No, oh, I'm a Buffy good. boy. Buffy boy, I'm yeah, Buffy, Buffy was good too. Now we've got a huge show for you today. Of course, we're coming here from the uh, Peel Street Festival, the fair. Um, and we've got uh, positive women coming up to talk to us. We've, I think, Mr. Molly Meldrum's uh, banding around somewhere here. There's celebs everywhere. And first, let's talk to our favourite celebrity, the lovely Annie Feel. And Annie, what you been up to? Uh, mainly working on something in the air. There's a plug, something yeah. in the air. <laughs> 7.30 Saturday nights. Doesn't clash with this, you see, yeah. so it's okay. And, and look so out for the big spunk. On. Big spunk Sullivan. Big spunk Sullivan yeah. Stapleton, who plays my son, Wayne, yeah. the jailbird. Yeah. Is yeah. Like, oh, is he a yeah. crim? I like that even more. Yeah, yeah. ex crim. Yeah. No, I mean, not Sullivan, Wayne. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm, I'm, um, I'm just popping it down. I'm mainly chatting. I keep seeing all these people. <laughs> hey, there's a guy walking up and down pretending to be Bill Sykes and he's even got the dog. Oh, really? You know, from Oliver. <laughs> Have you spotted him? If you can spot him, we'll grab him. Um, yes, I'm here, but I'm also here to talk to uh, the girls, Sonia and and Stephanie from Positive Women, because I'm a patron of Positive yes. Women. I'm yes. very proud of that. And I'm here to flog a picture of the thing next Sunday, which is full, apparently. They've sold out. Oh. Yeah. Have you sold out? They've sold out next Sunday. But but we'll have lots of more things coming up with Positive Women, so there you go. All right, okay, we'll talk to them and uh, Annie a little bit later about Positive Women. Troy, have you got something you want to share with us now? <laughs> oh, that would be me. No, be I'm Troy. fine. Oh, oh. It's all right, see one of those days. Well, actually, I've got something that if you're, in, um, if you're wondering about a new relationship you've just come into and you're wondering whether it's going to work, whether it's destined, there's been research about your sleeping position when you're in bed at night. Of oh. course, that's not during why you're having sex or anything. It's once you're actually going to sleep. All right, now, if you sleep closely together, and especially if you're facing each other and hugging, then you're on a pretty good thing. Another really good one is the spoon position, which is when you actually... I like the spoon position, too. Um, which, you know, it's when you're sort of like... One's got their back to you, you're cuddling on the inside, your legs sort of up each other. Um, or then you've got the zen, when you're back-to-back, -back, but your bums are touching. Is that, that good? Well, that's actually quite often how um, me and my partner do it. Oh, okay. Um, and then there's a leg hug when your legs into on. But if you sleep on off sides of the bed, then that's generally a bad thing. So if you're in a relationship, you're already doing that now, and you're in your honeymoon period still, then you might as well just get out because it's destined to be finished. What happens if it's really hot and you just need to be apart? What does that mean? Uh, that's just hot weather. You just get that. Anyway, that's it for me for now. Thank you, Troy. And, um, yes, what's your favourite sleeping position? I'm a spooner, but I actually do. I actually the author interlock toes. I don't know how to oh, do that. so cute. I'm a spooner too. Now, I forgot to introduce our very special guest star today. It's Kelly down here. Hello, Kelly. Hello. Isn't she gorgeous? And now with that, I think that we're going to throw to the news desk. So take it away, news desk. Here we are. We're down at the Fairy Floss Dam. We're trying some Fairy Floss. So what was your name? Ginny Prasad. Ginny, okay, now you're yeah. going to help us here. We've got some news here. We're actually talking about fairy floss today. Now, believe it or not, fairy floss and Britney Spears going together. Now, Britney and her mum have got together and written a book, not about fairy floss, but about the uh, parenting skills involved there. Now, they've got a lot, 1.5 million. Like, how much, how much fairy floss could you buy for 1.5 million dollars? Um, a lot, I think. Heaps, a lot? Yes. Okay, yes, well, we're looking at a lot of fairy floss with Britney at the moment, so... There's the news. Now, next up on the fairy floss thing, we've got uh, Ken. Now, Ken's turning 40. 40 years old? Myself? Yeah. <laughs> Ken! Ken! Barbie's Ken, of course. Now, we're a bit amazed here because he's actually stayed faithful to Barbie for 40 years. Oh, that's not married. Now, the guy himself, he's actually had many, many different jobs. He's been an astronaut. He's been an engineer. He's been a diver. Amazing guy. He's a Pisces. And happy 40th birthday to you, Ken. Okay. Now, do you know, how about the village people? Um, Ever been a fan? Dance around? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah back in the days in the disco. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now the bad news is actually one of the village people has died. Um, Glenn Hughes, one of the village people, has actually passed on. So, no, not very close there today. Okay. Now, a dance of shame. 
We can slip goodbye. We all know the line too well. And God, she's annoying, isn't she? Uh, okay, anyway, they're going to start making a new song now. It's called What the, the Weakest Mix. Mm -hmm. Now, it's like the Pauline Hanson takeoff. So, there's another one for the trash bin, in other words. And that's all us for the news desk at the moment. We're going to be leaving you now. Okay. Thank you very much for your hospitality and enjoy that's the rest okay. of the fair. No worries. And thanks to that, Anna, on the news desk. And now we're going out to one of our <laughs> roving reporters. And I think Monique or Sally is out there somewhere. Girls, are you out there? Come in, please. We're here at the Yarra Gay and Lesbian Street Fair in Peel Street. And, well, where would the name Peel Street be without the Peel? And here is the man behind the Peel and very much a, oh, <laughs> a driving force behind today's Yarra Gay and Lesbian Street Fair, Tom McFilly. Tom, how, how is it all going so far? Absolutely wonderful. Um, despite the weather, I'm amazed at the numbers. Um, haven't started counting them yet, but we're, we're actually almost getting to capacity within, with, certainly within the licensed area and up the street. It's, it's been a great day, uh, despite the weather. You know? yeah, well, well, you certainly have started something. I mean, was there, what was the reason from your particular point of view for, for getting it going? Um, we just felt that too many, uh, too many events, not just gay and lesbian ones, but too many events within the whole city were effectively turning into just a drink-a-thon. Uh, if you look at Chapel Street, you look at French Fest or whatever, and uh, from a gay and lesbian perspective, uh, especially this side of the city, we felt that we had to, we had to show the general community that it isn't all about um, sex and booze, that there are more things within the gay community. Yeah. Very true. We are a diverse community. Yeah. And, well, it is the first. And what is it? Um, well, I know. Well, hang on. I've got to think about this because they say straight things say, straight couples say that good things start, a marriage, good marriage starts in the rain. Will that apply to the gay community? Will it go oh, on to be a great life? <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. Th this is an inaugural uh, event. Um, well, it's now going to be a yearly event here, and it can only but get better. You know, That's right. Having... And maybe a little drier to Tom, thank you very much, and well done on all your good work. Thank you. And uh, now, for those of you out there... Oh, there's a camera. For those of you out there uh, who haven't become members of Event TV yet, well, you bloody well should. I am, all the staff members at the PLR, uh, Event TV needs your support. Uh, yeah, please join. Thank you, Sally. That was great. Oh, now, of course, other festivals coming up. Of course, today's been sensational. The boys down here are absolutely mind-blowing, and some of the ladies are looking quite hot, I might add, too. I don't know who I'm going to go home with. <laughs> Anyone who takes my fancy by the end of the day, and whoever offers me a few jam donuts, because I love them on a cold day. Of course, something else coming up next week, of course, the Antipodes Festival on Lonsdale Street. Yes, the Greek festival is up and about. Nana Muscuri is down as well. Effie Stephanides will be down there. So all you Greek guys and girls, get down there. I'm going to be down down there having a bit of a sniff around for a bit of Greek meat and maybe a bit of Greek pastries and maybe a bit of um, Greek fish. You never know, moussaka, baklava, whatever takes my fancy. Thanks. Now it's over to Peter. Oh, thank you. Well, I've got nothing interesting like that to say, but, but some good news. A transsexual has won a, an unfair dismissal case. Uh, Sharon Menzies was sacked from her vacuum cleaner company because they said, the bosses said that she wasn't very good, but it was straight after she became a transsexual. But she won. The, the Victorian Civil and Administrative Tribunal found that she was sacked unfairly. Now she's going to go for... Uh, how much is it? It is $400,000 compensation. So go, Sharon. It's good news about time somebody won this sort of stuff because it's not fair. She can still do her job. She can sell vacuum cleaners with the best of them. So go, Sharon. I hope she goes well. And that's my story. Thank you. Thank you, Peter. Yep, that was very good news that uh, this week, that a record uh, case that was run there. Um, I just want to take this time to say a very big thank you to Prue and all the crew down at Ography who um, helped us with all our printing here today at the fair. That's uh, the lovely Prue down at Ography. Look out for our Bent newsletter out on the streets um, as we speak and uh, that'll keep you up to date with everything that's going on with us. Um, coming back, we will be talking to the fabulous Sky Brooks, who's had a big uh, day here with the uh, opening show. This is Squeal on Channel 31, Bent TV. It's your community station.
Here we are back on Squeal on Channel 31, Bed TV. It's your community station. And we've been joined now by the one and only <coughs> Sky Brooks. Hi, Sky. Hi, everyone. How are you? Very well. Now, um, thanks for coming in and, and taking some time out from your very hectic schedule today because you are the... Um, uh, show coordinator. Show, well, that's what I was trying to look for the word. Yes, yeah, show coordinator for today. That's, that's right, Tabitha, yes. <laughs> hey, perhaps you'd like to ask us some questions, Tab, because... I'm reaching here. It's been really old. No, it's not. No, how hard is it though? Knowing because they sort of would have come to you and asked you to get a show together. Mm. So how hard is it to go from scratch to know to s something that's going to appeal to the whole crowd? Because they've got such a diverse mix. Well, well that's the whole thing. Um, because these sort of events, they basically attract a lot of people that don't normally do clubbing and everything. So um, generally, a lot of the older queens as well. So I think it's very important to not just cater for that, especially during the day. You can't have really heavy. Um, sort of like type of shows that would be normally at a dance party. Yeah. Just colour and movement and fun. You know, which is the, I mean, as the night progresses, it gets a little bit more intense. Question. <laughs> where, where was Sky born? What, literally? Li see? No, no the, um, the drag persona, the performer. The drag monster, yeah. Um, actually, well, it was in Sydney. Um, we, I was at university doing psych um, psychology at the time, and there was a, a, um, a talent quest um, at, at uh, Patches, this club, that, which was now DCMs. And just six of us just went in there for fun. I mean, <laughs> you should have, we look like dogs. I mean, you have no idea. Um, and we got actually, which is a very rare thing in Sydney, we just got offered work as a whole group. So there was 18 at the time. Um, and we had our own... I was 18. Oh, you were 18. No, no. No, because she does have huge shows. Yeah, um, and I just started to start off having my own show when she was at 18 in Sydney. Hmm, that's what all uh, happened. Uh, over the years, have you found it really difficult to get the, the support and the backup from the venues for your shows? Because I remember as a youngster in um, that town that we all escaped from very early on <laughs> in Adelaide, um, that the shows, some of the shows that were done over there, in particular Underground that I remember, um, and the one that I said before with Onions Mad and Butterfly, I think that was, they were monsters, absolute monsters. The sets, the light, everything that was involved with them was huge. And I haven't seen anything like that since. Yeah, I just basically think, if anything, drag has regrets, not evolved. Um, it seems to be getting what I call drag on a box, which is, you know, a compare, spot, 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 spot. Um, it really, I mean, the, the feasibility of being on a big show in terms of venues making money out of it, it's not, it, because it's a different crowd coming out now, of course, which, I mean, the, the scene changes and evolves all the time. Um, but I don't really think that, um, because of all the high-tech, you know, wizardry of, of you know, um, television, movies and everything, that, that people are, people get bored very easily now to sit and watch a, a show for it to pay for itself. It's got to go for at least two or three months if it has if it's got a lot of money in it. And the people just get, you know, I've seen that, I'm going to go and see it again. I know the trick. Yeah, so it's not really a feasible thing these days. So they want, you know, maximum um, sort of visuals and effort with minimal cost, but you can't do one without the other. Yeah. Compromise, isn't it? Um, Annie, did you have something? Yes, I've just. Ah! Yeah. A little birdie whispered to me that you do prisoner characters. Is this true? Uh, actually, yes, I do. I did. I have done, yeah. I was a great freak. Who do you do? Um, I did um, The Freak, of course, which I actually used to... We used to go out drinking together in Sydney with her and... Um, Maggie. Yeah, and with uh, Carol Skinner. Oh, dr dreadful. They were just awful. They were the taxi club in Sydney where you need gum boots, otherwise you sink into the beer-sodden carpet. Know it well. Uh, allegedly. I allegedly know it well. Hey, I tell you who's here. This is Simon. 
This is an extraordinary coincidence. Simon is a prisoner fan club member from England. He was out here for the prisoner party last year. He's back out here now trying to organise another bit of a do for next year, but... G'day. G'day, he said. And this is a uh, this is Sky who does prisoner in in her thing. So there you go. Were you part of the musical? No, Maggie Kirkpatrick was the only one that was. What was that like? Did you see the uh, prisoner the musical in London? Got to go across to Simon. Did you see the musical? I did indeed. It was supremely trashy, I must say. <laughs> supremely trashy. I like that. It did prisoner proud, I think. Did prisoner proud. There you go. Maggie Maggie was in it. She um uh. She had a ball. Who was the who's the drag queen? Lily Savage became a great mate. They became great mates. I'll take you back to Paul. Okay. Um, and where do you where would you like to see the future of drag here in Melbourne? I mean, that's a huge thing to to think about. What what's one thing that you could see as a positive step for for drag? Well, I just think, for one, uh, you know, at least a place where there could be good grad shows. And I don't mean regression, um, as in doing all the old crap that's been done before. I mean, drag, I mean, as I've said before, can be an art form. It can also be the cheapest form of entertainment there is. But I think available. that's what it is now. Yeah, like, exactly. And I, I, it's cheap. I, I, yeah. I don't see a place where any people at the moment are going to want to put the yeah. time or the effort in. And I agree with you. And like for a lot of the younger people that have never seen a, a de decent drag show, all they have to uh, adhere to is what they see now, and they think, well, I can put on a dress and mime to a top 40 song, which is basically what drag has become. And they Not do, all of it, but, but some of them do one number, and they get like, oh, you were good, and then they want money straight away, <laughs> that they want everything straight As away. As Candy says, they haven't done their time on Maple Drive. <laughs> <laughs> They're all losers and arsehole. <laughs> so how hard, how hard is it then from going from, you know, you're living the Skybrook life and then living like an everyday life, is it hard to switch off from from it or is it just like one in one? Well not anymore, I mean I have my own business now, I'm doing sound and video production whilst at one stage um, it, it's very hard to sort of um, one stage I was going out and drag all the time um, and it sort of takes over but I mean, and I just realised that that was wrong, you know, because it, it, one, I, I don't think I change as a person whether I'm in drag or out of drag, that's why I don't do microphone stuff, because I think you have to have a personality, like a stage personality and that becomes comes what people know you as. I prefer just being on stage and being whatever character you can be, but I'm still myself. So the uh, Skybrook sense of humour you got isn't actually just uh, Skybrook's alone, it's your own person as well? Yeah, definitely so, yeah. And I'm twisted, I'm cracked, yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, so um, what I want to say is I dare one of the venue owners or managers out there that has the seating capacity and the staging capacity to launch a new production here in Melbourne, yeah. a new proper drag production. I dare you to have the balls to do it. Thank you very much, Sky, for coming in today. And if you do, get in touch with her because, yeah. you know, she's the queen. Um, thanks for coming in today. And a pleasure. Thank you Good very much. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks. This has been uh, Squill here. And uh, now, sorry, we are going to Hannah. That's ha, 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 Hannah. I don't have a speech impediment, but I was told it was Anna. Take it away, <laughs> Hannah. And look what I found here. Ooh, like lots of knickers here now. Personal favourite of our uh, producer here, Steve, and he was picking out these ones before. Now, if you ask me, they're a bit small, Steve, but there you know. You go for your life, go for your flavour there. Now, what's coming up here on the 31st of March, we've got a Mine's 18 event. It's at Sub Club Lounge, 199 Commercial Road. So it's good everyone under 18 out for a drug and alcohol free event. Head on down that way. That's uh, a minus 18 there. Now, what's going on this week, hey? Now, I've got a date myself, and I don't know where I'm going to take you this week, but what we do have on in Melbourne is the uh, Melbourne Queer Film Festival. Oh, cool. Then what we've got, which night would you like to go out with me? <laughs> if you can't decide, here we go. We've got the best picks for the week at the Melbourne Queer Film Festival, and you can choose which one you want to go with me. Okay, now Monday we're looking at local lesbians, the good Melbourne flicks and shorts from some um, great little girls uh, made around Melbourne here. Tuesday, if you're interested, of course. <laughs> we've got Paragraph 175 down at the Capitol Theatre there. Wednesday we're saying we're hitting definitely on the cocktails. For Thursday, where are we going? For Thursday, we're definitely suggesting you go to the Burlesque King. Also on at the Capitol at 8pm. 
And I'm going to skip Saturday because that's just our night alone at home. <laughs> but on Sunday, we're definitely, we've got the fine art finale there, the Crown Park. Nico and Danny down at uh, 9 p.m. at the Capitol Theatre. So the definite hit picks for the fantastic Melbourne Queer Film Festival this week. Now, this is yours, is it, darling? Yes, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're, you're, you're lovely. Oh, you're lovely. <laughs> Thanks, guys. She's gorgeous. <laughs> How are you? Um, that was great I can the balloon. Um, and now, just to prove to you today how much of a family affair it is today, we've got this gorgeous little girl that we found here. And what's her name? Kaylin. Kaylin. Hello, darling. Yes. Hi. Are you? You can say hello. <laughs> okay. She's gorgeous. How old is she? She's 13 months. Yeah. Yes. She's just beautiful. Are you having a good day? Yeah. Fun. <laughs> oh, isn't that gorgeous? So there we go. And now I think we're going to go to a... Yes, I can hear them coming in. Uh, take it away, Monique. Yeah, yeah, Paul, I found the marching girls. I'm going to go and talk to her. I'll see if I can stop her. Hi, what's your name? Hi, I'm Vicky from the Melbourne yeah. Marching Girls. And what are you doing here? We are here at the Eric Gain Lisbon Street Fair being Galaxy Girls. This was Galaxy our performance girls. from Mardi Gras. Right, and how was it at Mardi Gras? Fabulous, we loved it. Yeah, do you think I could join? Do I have all the moves? Yeah. Right? You just need a baton and a red go and you'll be fine. Oh, I'll do this. I'll keep talking then. You keep doing that. I'll keep talking. Hello. Okay, and uh, now we're off to uh, another roving reporter. But come in, girls. My finger's not working, guys. Can we just put it? Oh, hang on. No, no. I think I've got it, Paul. I think. Yeah. Is that Monique? Monique, are you in there? Yeah. We're going back to Monique for another fabulous story out there. Come in, Monique. It's time to merge the two media loves of my life, Ben TV and Joy Melbourne. We're here with Jody Brenton from Sunday Coming Down in the Program Committee and Jo Tomlins, who hasn't been around in a while, but she's back with us now and, of course, is involved in queer film and the gay and lesbian rights lobby. Ladies, how's that from the Joy perspective? How's it going this afternoon? It's fabulous. Lots of fun. Lots of action. Absolutely great day, isn't it? There's so many people. Like, considering it's a little bit blurry here in Melbourne, it's an absolutely fantastic day. Yeah. Now, well, the very, now the, the thing is, it is good to have Joy back, even if it is just for a day in this way. But, of course, Joy at the moment is off air, which is not pleasant. What, now, what's the situation with that? And how can we do something about it? When is Joy back on air? All those sorts of things. Well, we're coming, jo Joy's coming back on in May. Uh, so we're back on for a four-week broadcast with a four-day four day, four day broadcast over that period. The ABA are going to have a court hearings in May. So the decision for the full-time licences may be around about September and October or October, and it'll be announced which community radio stations will receive a full-time licence, and we hope it's joy. And if you aren't a member, you know, sorry to Absolutely. do the plug here, but you need to join now. We need you. We need you to be a member. The more members, the better our chances of getting a licence. And of course, what's that number to phone during office hours for Joy if you want to become a member or support us in any way? 969-00907. Jody, that number again. 969-00907. Jody and Joe, thank you very, very much. And well, I'm draw. Well, let's say I'm just. My heart is pounding with combining Joy and Bent together. But seriously, we need both media. And all we can say is, go Joy! Yeah. Go Joy! That was great. This is our last segment coming up next. And we'll be going by positive women. So go and do so, something nice to yourself. And um, we'll see you for our next segment, which will be segment three. And then we'll have another one after that. And then just keep doing things, things that make you happy. And we'll see you very soon here on Channel 31, Bent TV, your queer, gay community television station, transgender and lesbian. Bye. Oh, my God, she swallowed. <laughs> Now just a quick, oh hello, just a quick look at the weather. Uh, tonight local drizzle with a minimum of 13. Tomorrow it should be starting with some morning foggy patches but it will be turning into a fine day with a maximum of 26. Wednesday we will have some rain at times, a uh, minimum of uh, 16 and a maximum of 20 and Thursday we'll definitely have some showers with a minimum of 13 and a maximum of 20. Friday however will be turning into quite a fine day with a minimum of 14 and a maximum of 23. But now that I actually have your attention, um, it's time for me to 
say something about Ventivian memberships? Because uh, Tom Feely mentioned in that uh, show that you can become a member, and it's about, I think, $20. I'm not sure exactly how much it is, but it's uh, a really worthy amount of money to give to the community because Ben TV, um, yeah, look, if you live in the inner city and, you know, you go to Commercial Road or whatever all the time, you've got contact. But for people who are, like, coming out first, maybe younger people or people who live in the, the, the nether regions or, you know, further, maybe Geelong or something like that, who don't have that contact all the time, it's a really, really great thing for them. So please call 94194745. That's right there. 94194745 and give. I hope you enjoy the rest of the evening. Welcome back, everyone. This is Squeal here on Channel 31 Bed TV, and I've been joined by the fabulous Stephanie Moore and Sonia Ristoff from Positive Women. Please make them feel welcome. Oh, we've got big clapping that time. A big clapper. Hi, ladies. I'm going to hand the mic over to you guys, and yeah. you can uh, talk about what's been up here. We couldn't get electricity today, so we've only got this. Now, this is my debut, isn't it, ladies? As the patron of Positive Women, I'm very, very thrilled about that. And I asked Steve if I could come on the show to flog the uh, film next Sunday, the 25th, at Cine Media. But it's sold out. But we want your donations. I'm going to hand over to you, darling, to talk about it. Where to send donations? In lieu of a ticket to If These Walls Could Talk too. Well, because we did sell out so quickly and we're not saying no to any do donations, you can send them to P.O. Box 555, whoa, what is it? 222 Paran 3181 or our email address which is pos.women at co31 dot aone dot net dot au and you can contact, get our web page on that. And if if you didn't have a pen and paper on you there, is it still through the Alfred Hospital? Still through the Alfred. So just just ask for positive women at the Alfred Hospital, and they'll give you all the details if you need it. Have you got anything to add there, Stephanie? No, just that uh, the email address is not c o thirty one. It's c zero three one. Just to remember, but as the film is sold out, what we're hoping to do is get another film fundraiser later in the year because we still need money to for our retreat for positive women to offer them respite away from the family, just somewhere where they can have a good, safe environment just to be with each other, have massage, do all sorts of things that you need to do with just your sort of group. So we'll be having another fundraiser during the year, so come along to that as well. Hey, have you heard about the sing-along Sound of Music? Oh, my God. Oh, it's apparently wonderful. I reckon positive women should get onto it. It's coming out soon, and you get the subtitles underneath. It's a real cult in England and America, and you go dressed up as the characters, and you sing along to the Sound of Music, and you boo the Nazis, and you cheer the nuns. It's like the Rocky Horror Show. It's, yeah, and there was one guy turned up in England once, because often the, the costumes, you know, are pretty, you know, the nuns and all of that. And people go in curtains, you know, because when Maria pulled down the curtains and, made, and a whole groups go made out of curtain material. But one guy came and he was just this huge sort of yellow burst of something. And they said, what are you? And he said, I'm Ray, a drop of golden sun. <laughs> So I reckon we should have a fun right, try and get the film yeah. for, for Bent TV and Positive Women and Oz Showbiz Cares and get a really big theatre because I reckon it would be a hoot and you have best costume prizes and everything. But talking about Positive Women, some not good news from uh, Port Moresby. It seems that uh, the statistics there are showing that uh, women, housewives, are contracting HIV and... Uh, an alarming concern is that close to 9% of the mode of transmission is from mother to child. So like Africa, it looks like New, New Guinea is heading the way of Africa. And, um, you know, it's, it's not something that we can ignore. And women in those countries are the hardest hit. I remember my brother was over there a few years ago. And he went into villages where there were three generations of women. Grandmother, mother and, and daughters. Um, HIV. And all... Oh, oh the Callie the dog nearly took the desk away. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so we'll uh, 
Anything else, girls, to say? Any? Out of that, Kelly. Get out of that. <laughs> Why have you got such a big grin on your face? Thanks, Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, in my capacity of positive women, what does that mean? Up you or two minutes? Oh, right. Um, I just want to say, if ever you see anything that's got, you know, a fundraiser for positive women, and don't forget donations, and if you didn't have your pen and paper, just get on to the Alfred Hospital. Also, if you know of anyone who needs any assistance, there's a lot of ladies out there that um, they can't admit it to even their families. So, you know, if you know of anyone... Tell them to get along to this bunch. They're a great bunch, and they understand. They all know what it's all about. I'm handing you back to Paul, or Peter. No, Paul. 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 <laughs> all right, and, and as always, anything to do with Positive Women or any other the community groups that you see here on Bent TV, we always have the information here too, so you can always contact us, and I'm sure that someone will put those numbers up or talk about those numbers before the end of the show. Now, and just in case you forget... Any feeling can be seen on this show, on the ABC, something in the air, and uh, make sure you look out for her gorgeous young son as well, who I'm going to turn into the next gay icon of Australia, um, who is straight, by the way, but hey, we don't care. All right, now we're going to... Hello, Kerry, the fabulous Kerry Lagore there. Um, <laughs> we're going to the news desk again now, so take it away, Anna. Sure. Hi, Shirley. Hi. Hi. Hello, hello, hello. Now, here we have we Shirley here now. We're going to pull one of Shirley's strings today. Shirley, how do we pull your strings? All you have to do is pick any string, you pull it down, and you, whatever you pull up in the back is yours to keep. Okay, can we have a go? Yeah, any one. Okay, here we go. Any string you like. This one? Any one, pull it up. Oh! got a big poo bear. I think I was hoping for something bigger than that, you know, but you never know. Thank you. Here we go. Thanks to Shirley here. Now, <laughs> okay, so now just letting you know, now in the news this week, we've actually had a court case of the transsexual sack from a job for having a sex change. We've had a landmark decision there where um, Civil Administrative Tribunal has awarded Cheryl Menzies. She's actually won the case over a former boss there for firing her for a sex change. So it's good news for everyone around Melbourne there. Um, next up, we've got the Brax government with reform laws at the moment, uh, looking into changing it around workplace and gay reforms there. Um, what are you dripping? Sorry, we're dripping here. We've got fairy floods going left, right and centre. Overwhelming. <laughs> Um, lesbians around Melbourne, if you're looking for support here, we've like, got a group here called the Prospective Lesbian Parents. Um, at the moment, there are prospective um, small groups surrounding donors. You're looking into having your children. Even if you're a guy, contact these guys. Uh, Sue and Michelle on 9484-5359. And for the, we've got a HIV service as well for a support group. Great to get out there, get a community, get happening. Um, number 9685-6700. Back to you. Okay, and now we're going to have a, a sampling of just a bit of the array of talent that's been on display here today. Uh, and we're going to have a look at a live performance that was taped earlier. Take it away.
rehearsed at all. Um, now, we, um, what an amazing array of male bodies are on display here today, and even with the cooler weather, they ventured out in their shorts and their singlets as well. Which Sandals and their shorty shorts. Yeah. And those hideous, hideous three, oh my god, oh, it's Rachel Berger. Somebody go on stage. Rachel Berger, what yes. are you saying on stage for? I'm where the auction is. It's a Jewish thing. It's in my DNA, getting as much money as possible. Who else? Okay. Yeah. Because I'll be up there later auctioning. None of these people that, of course, are watching because this is tomorrow, so this is today and that was yesterday. <laughs> but had they been here today, messing with my head again. yesterday, they would also see me up there auctioning a visit for two people to the set of something in the air for positive women. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. Oh, fair. You're doing it one night for positive women? Is it one night? No, no. This is up... This is up... Oh, I have to figure out this microphone. This is up there on that stage where you are okay. at the auction oh okay so it's going to be auctioned off fantastic i don't know what i'm auctioning. probably leather underwear or something I <laughs> can we I <laughs> can we see you in it no Giles, not today no i've had <laughs> hey how, how's the show <laughs> how's the show in sydney finished did a show in sydney yes god is a man but i didn't think he was i didn't think he was a woman i thought god was the free market you know nike adidas that's god now <laughs> is it coming down to melbourne Probably not. No. no, we all got on, hated each other, and I think I killed someone somewhere. So, you know, it's like a drag show. We all hated each other at the end of it. <laughs> Is this an exclusive for Squeal? <laughs> no, no. Is there a dead actress in Sydney that no one's found? <laughs> there is, yeah, yes. I'm pretending to be Rachel Berger. I'm her humanoid. No, 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 it was fine. It was really good, but we only did six shows. Oh, and that was it, yeah. I'm sorry about that. We're doing that wind up. We are. I saw the nail going like this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Someone wanting to be Barbie. <laughs> Great to run in here. Like, like, likewise. Likewise. All the best with the auction. Try and raise hundreds. I'm up there about 5.30. Thousands. 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 All right. Thank you. Bye. Yay. Unreal. The fabulous Rachel Berger there talking to Annie. And we've got to go now. This is Squeal on Bent TV Channel 31, your community station. <laughs>
Welcome back to Ben TV on Channel 31. I just want to say a quick hello to two of our biggest fans. Oh my God, Mark and Ross. Thanks for watching. Okay, over to Troy. All right, now I just want to read out this quick letter we got in. Um, hey, Squealers, I absolutely love your show and try to watch it if, I, if I'm not working. Keep up the good work. Monique, you are so hot. Why don't you have a girlfriend? You are gorgeous. I'll be with you any day. Call me Michelle. And then she gives her phone number and address. So <laughs> send in a photo so we can give it to her as well. Alright, thanks boys, and yeah, keep those fan letters coming, because we always like to hear from the people that think we're doing a good job, don't we, Tab? Yeah. And those people that think we're doing a bad job? <laughs> no, to yourself. no, we want to hear from you too. Now, very rudely, we're carrying on here without introducing our megastar of the day, <laughs> and it is the fabulous Dulcie Dujour. Welcome, Dulcie. You thought it was you, didn't you? <laughs> Ugly young thing. Now, you notice I've... I've put myself in between the two uh, beauties that we have on desk today because Dulcie rocked up saying, I hate her, I'm not sitting next to her. So isn't it nice to see the, the love? jealous of youth and beauty. <laughs> the love. Now, Dulcie, what... We'd probably be... I was going to say... We just know how she's going to end up. <laughs> <laughs> old with, and tortured old like and, us. Old and tight. Not with all that surgery. Yeah, exactly. Ooh, she's going to have a fluffy plastic. chin. <laughs> fluffy chin. <laughs> oh, stop it. Wake up one morning and her nose will be on the pillow and she'll say, oh, I should have listened to you, Dulcie. <laughs> now, Dulcie, apart from performing here today, what other duties have you been uh, up to? <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> well what shall, I, we do? shall I rephrase What did we do today? No. Have I been working? Lead auction. Huh? Side. Lead auction. When? Gay, When's that on? When's the lead auction? Is it on? It's over. Oh, did I miss it? Was I, <laughs> I think it did it. Was I supposed to do the lead auction? You blew it. We had Kerry. No, I didn't. Oh, you did the it. The door was on. <laughs> How'd you do Kerry? Oh, no. I didn't have time. <laughs> <laughs> she takes it forever. The lead auction today at the at the inaugural Gay and Lesbian, Yarra Gay and Lesbian Street Fair. Lead auction, and of course we opened the day introducing the sensational Mayor of South Yarra. No, no, he's not South Yarra. The Mayor of Yarra, of the city of Yarra. And his name is um, John Phillips, perhaps. Or it might be Philip John, I know. <laughs> anyway, something fabulous like that. And of course Molly Meldrum, so that was sensational. I have been working in the office here for the last two weeks, helping organise and organising these things. It's lovely to see that all the people I talked to on the phone the last couple of weeks have actually turned up with all these gorgeous things and they've put them in the street while I was home sleeping. They've set everything up and <laughs> they did ring a couple of them at 6am this morning, which wasn't pretty. And I'd just like to say to you, if you're now watching this, thanks for doing that this morning. Don't ever, ever do it again. I'm sorry. I should have given you time, shouldn't I? But yes, the lead auction's fabulous. We've raised $250,000 or 265 over the last, not today, Tabitha, no. Oh. Over the last 13 years and today I'll be a huge huge um uh, oh, yeah, uh addition addition it'll be an addition won't it what did, so, what did you auction off today we sold a magnificent five night holiday for two at Turtle Cove actually for 14 uh, thirteen hundred and fifty dollars which was sensational uh, we've sold a lot of those old things to smash you know some hideous uh, things that you've donated from your old auntie stuff awful china where the, things where does the money go to from the auction the money goes to the David Williams Fund, which of course helps people um, with living with HIV, that's uh, men, women and children of course. David Will Williams Fund, a lot of you don't know a lot about the David Williams Fund. They're in the background a bit, but they do a lot, a lot of good work and if there's anyone out there who is in need and, and just is not sure which way to turn, David Williams Fund, sensational. Please go to them, they're wonderful. I think we had his sister on, do we have his sister on last week? Yeah, she was lovely, yeah. Actually, yes, yes. Um, I haven't seen her for, oh, well, since... The early years of the of the Laird auction, but yeah, she took over the reins. Actually, now you're performing tonight, Dulcie. No, uh, where? On the main stage. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm not doing that. Um, uh, Skybrooks uh, is the entertainment organiser, I think. So no, that's all organised. No, I don't do that, Tabitha. You know, I'm not big on. Mm. I would like a bit of Chow Baby in the, you know. Oh no, I'm doing J Lo now. Mm. Oh. D-Lo, 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 Dulcy Lo, and Puff Granny. I'm Tabby T. Lucy's Lucy Lo, Chris's Missy. Can I, do you two girls ever work together, have you ever worked together, like on stage? Oh, no. I've actually done signing. I've done signing for Sally Spectra. Sally Spectra. What do you reckon about people who bag drag queens? How do you feel about them? 
What'd she say? She talks too fast. Yeah. What do you think of people who bag drag queens? What do you say to them? Oh, fuck. Oh! <laughs> That's okay. You can no, say you can say seven of those an hour. <laughs> we haven't said any yet, have we? No. Probably, but anyway. Oh, look. Everyone to their own. I don't, look, I don't particularly like drag queens, but I'll tell you what, it pays the bills. <laughs> Fair enough. Very good. And it makes the world so much prettier. <laughs> it's some up. of us. Especially, yeah, well, some of you, that's for sure. All right, well, thank you, Joel, Steve, for coming yeah, in. I want to tell you about the MacArthur sale. We've got 25%. <laughs> <laughs> Goodness me, I don't know that we could do that on uh, uh, community TV. But anyway, thank you for that. <laughs> and um, I think now we're going to the news desk, if I remember correctly. Ooh, yes, we are. I'm thank you, Joel, C. No, you <laughs> can't. Let me tell you about the state of the economy and the price of petrol. <laughs> ah, and the Telstra surveys. You've got no idea. They ring you up. They will do surveys on surveys. I just haven't got enough time. <laughs> Okay. 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 Hannah on the news desk. Bye. Thanks, Dulcie. Thank you. Hello, hello. Welcome back. Now, we're a bit concerned here. The kangaroo is flat. Maybe his cellulite's wearing off here over the age, but she's definitely sinking in. Like, I'm out of control here. Anyways, what we need now is members, membership for uh, Ben TV. Come along. You can sign up. You can just to support us here. Come along and help out. Support the group here. Now, if you want to sign up, there's a membership form. You can actually grab it on the internet. The address to grab it, if you excuse me here, uh, we've got www.egroups.com slash bent TV. Sign up over the internet, or you can alternatively give us a call. Our number is 94174745. It's $3 full, $15 for concessions. Sign up and support the gang here. Back to you there. And thanks for that, Anna, on the news desk. Okay. Now, I believe that you've got to uh, pop off in a very short moment, ma'am. I do have to pop off. And in fact, look who's coming. Th have they come to collect me? Do you think? These two? I don't think so. Now, I've got to pop off to the auction up the road there because I'm going to auction for positive women the visit on the set for two people for the day. What a pity it's tomorrow that it's today. Otherwise, yeah. So I'll catch you later. Okay. Bye. Penny. You're going back, Desmond. <laughs> we had to get one prisoner reference in there, didn't we? Um, and now I think we've got the fabulous Sally Goldner on the street with our own guru, the fabulous Molly Meldrum. Mel blah, 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 blah. Meldrum, take it away. Woo! Uh, what part I live in, you know? It's a very, very diverse part of, of the city and a, and a good place to be. Lots of fun. And Molly, come on, mention it. The latest single now is it Chili, Chili, Chili Cha Cha? Chili Cha Cha, yeah, with Irene Coldus and then Trisha Tanuja. And uh, later on tonight, we're going to feature them. They're coming on to perform. You know? Excellent. Molly, thanks for opening Yarra Gay and Lesbian Street Fair. Thanks for being with us on Squeal, Bet TV, Channel 31. Oh, you're gorgeous. <laughs> Hi, this is Molly Meldrum. I want you to subscribe to Channel 31, and it's called Subscribe a Thon, and the number is just simply this. Read this out: 03 Channel 31. I just want to say a quick hello to two of our biggest fans. Oh my god, Mark and Ross. Thanks for watching. Okay, over to Troy. All right, now I just want to read out this quick letter we got in. Um, hey, Squealers, I absolutely love your show and try to watch it if, I, if I'm not working. Keep up the good work. Monique, you are so hot. Why don't you have a girlfriend? You are gorgeous. I'll be with you any day. Call me Michelle. And then she gives her phone number and address. So <laughs> send in a photo so we can give it to her as well. Alright, thanks boys, and yeah, keep those fan letters coming, because we always like to hear from the people that think we're doing a good job, don't we, Tab? Yeah. And those people that think we're doing a bad job? <laughs> no, to you, no, we want to hear from you too. Now, 
very rudely, we're carrying on here without introducing our megastar of the day. And it is the fabulous Dulcie Dujour. Welcome, Dulcie. You thought it was you, didn't you? Ugly young thing. Now, you notice I've, I've put myself in between the two uh, beauties that we have on desk today because Dulcie rocked up saying, I hate her, I'm not sitting next to her. So, isn't it nice to see the, the love? jealous of youth and beauty. <laughs> the love. Now, Dulcie, what... We'd probably be, I was going to say... We just know how she's going to end up. <laughs> <laughs> Old but, and tortured old, like us. Old and tight. Not with all that surgery. Yeah, exactly. Ooh, she's going to have a fluffy plastic. chin. <laughs> fluffy chin. <laughs> oh, stop it. Wake up one morning and her nose will be on the pillow and she'll say, oh, I should have listened to you, Dulcie. <laughs> now, Dulcie, apart from performing here today, what other duties have you been uh, up to? <laughs> well, what shall, I, do? shall I rephrase What do we do today? No. Have I been working? Huh? Lead auction. When? When's that on? When's the lead auction? Is it on? It's over. Oh, did I miss it? Was I... <laughs> I think you did it. Was I supposed to do the lead auction? You blew it. We had carrot. No, I didn't. Oh, you did the it. The door was on. <laughs> How'd you do carry? Oh, no. I didn't have time. <laughs> it just takes it forever. The lead auction today at the, at the inaugural Gay and Lesbian, Yarra Gay and Lesbian Street Fair. Lead auction. And, of course, we opened the day introducing the sensational mayor of South Yarra. No, no, he's not South Yarra. The mayor of Yarra, of the city of Yarra. And his name is um, John Phillips, perhaps. Or it might be Philip John, I don't know. Anyway, something fabulous like that. That. And of course Molly Meldrum, so that was sensational. I have been working in the office here for the last two weeks, helping organ and organising these things. It's lovely to see that all the people I talked to on the phone the last couple of weeks have actually turned up with all these gorgeous things and they've put them in the street while I was home sleeping. They've set everything up and <laughs> they did ring a couple of them at 6am this morning, which wasn't pretty. And I'd just like to say to you, if you're now watching this, thanks for doing that this morning. Don't ever, ever do it again. I'm sorry. I should have given you time, shouldn't I? But yes, the lead auction's fabulous. We've raised two hundred and fifty thousand dollars, or two hundred and sixty-five over the last not today, Tabitha, no. Oh. Over the last thirteen years, and today I'll be a huge, huge um uh oh, um, addition, addition. It'll be an addition, won't it? Today. What did you auction off today? We sold a magnificent five-night holiday for two at Turtle Cove, actually, for uh, $1,350, which was sensational. Uh, we've sold a lot of those old things to smash, you know, some hideous uh, things that you've donated from your old auntie stuff, awful china and things. Where does the money go to from the auction? The money goes to the David Williams Fund, which of course helps people um, with living with HIV, that's uh, men, women and children of course. David Will Williams Fund, a lot of you don't know a lot about the David Williams Fund. They're in the background a bit, but they do a lot, a lot of good work and if there's anyone out there who is in need and, and just is not sure which way to turn, David Williams Fund, sensational. Please go to them, they're wonderful. We had his sister on, do we have his sister on last week? Yeah, she was lovely, yeah. Actually, yes, yes. Um, I haven't seen her for, oh, well, since... The early years of the of the Laird auction, but yeah, she took over the reins. Actually, now you're performing tonight, Dulcie. No, uh, where? On the main stage. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm not doing that. Um, uh, Skybrooks uh, is the entertainment organizer, I think. So no, that's all organized. No, I don't do that, Tabitha. You know, I'm not big on. Mm. I would like a bit of Chow Baby in the, you know. Oh no, I'm doing J Lo now. Oh. D-Lo, 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 Dulcie Lo, and Puff Granny. I'm Tammy T. Lucy's Lucy Lo, Chris is Can I, do you two girls ever work together, have you ever worked together, like on stage? Oh, no. I've done signing. I've done signing for Sally Spectra. Sally Spectra. What do you reckon about people who bag drag queens? How do you feel about them? What she say? She talks too fast. Yeah. What do you think of people who bag drag queens? What do you say to them? Oh, fuck. Oh! <laughs> That's okay. You can no, say you can say seven of those an hour. <laughs> we haven't said any yet, have we? No. Probably. Anyway. Oh, look. Everyone to their own. I don't, look, I don't particularly like drag queens, but I tell you what, it pays the bills. <laughs> Fair enough. Very good. And it makes the world so much prettier. <laughs> it's Some does. of us. Especially, yeah, well, some of you, that's for sure. All right, well, thank you, Dulcie, for coming yeah, in. I want to tell you about the MacArthur sale. We've got 25%. <laughs> Goodness me, I don't know that we could do that on uh, uh, community TV. But anyway, thank you for that. <laughs> and um, I think now we're going to the news desk, if I remember correctly. Ooh. Yes, we are. I'm thank you, Dulcie. <laughs> you... Dulcie Kite, let me tell you about the state of the economy and the price of petrol. Ah. <laughs> oh.
And the Telstra surveys. You've got no idea. They ring you up. They will do surveys on surveys. I just haven't got enough done. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hannah on the news desk. Bye. Thanks, Dulcie. Thank you. Hello, hello. Welcome back. Now, we're a bit concerned here. The kangaroo is flat. Maybe his cellulite's wearing off here over the age, but she's definitely sinking in. Like, I'm out of control here. Anyways, what we need now is members, membership for uh, Ben TV. Come along, you can sign up, you can just to support us here, come along and help out, support the group here. Now, if you want to sign up, there's a membership form, you can actually grab it on the internet. The address to grab it, if you excuse me here, and uh, we've got www.egroups.com slash Ben TV. Sign up over the internet, or you can alternatively give us a call. Our number is 94174745. It's $3 full, $15 for concessions. Sign up and support the gang here. Back to you there. <laughs> and thanks for that, Anna, on the news desk. Okay. Now, I believe that you've got to uh, pop off in a very short moment, ma'am. I do have to pop off. In fact, look who's coming. Th have they come to collect me? Do you think? These two? I don't think so. Now, I've got to pop off to the auction up the road there because I'm going to auction for positive women the visit on the set for two people for the day. What a pity it's tomorrow that it's today, otherwise, yeah. So I'll catch you later. Okay. Bye. Thanks, Penny. You're going back, Desmond. <laughs> we had to get one prisoner reference in there, didn't we? Um, and now I think we've got the fabulous Sally Goldner on the street <laughs> with our own guru, the fabulous Molly Meldrum. Mel blah, 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 blah. Meldrum, take it away. Oh, uh, well, the part I live in, you know. It's a very, very diverse part of, of the city and a, and a good place to be. Lots of fun. And Molly, come on, I'm going to mention it. The latest single now is it Chili, Chili, Chili Cha Cha? Chili Cha Cha, yeah, with Irene Coldus and, and Trisha Tanuja. And uh, later on tonight, we're going to feature them. They're coming on to perform. You know? Excellent. Molly, thanks for opening Yarra Gay and Lesbian Street Fair. Thanks for being with us on Squeal Bet TV, Channel 31. Oh, you're gorgeous. <laughs> Hi, this is Molly Meldrum. I want you to subscribe to Channel 31, and it's called Subscribe a Thon, and the number is just simply this. Read this out: 03 5831. Okay, 5831 for the Channel 31 subscribers on. E. Okay, so that was the fabulous Molly Meldrum and Sally Goldner, our own roving reporter here on the street at the uh, Yarra City. Queer and Lesbian Gay Transgender Festival in Peel Street. And uh, now we're going to see the fabulous Annie Phelan. I had to think about what I was doing then. And she's on stage at the Laird Auction and she's auctioning off that fabulous day for two on the set oh, of Something in, in the, the Air. air. No, Good to meet all those boys. Uh, Sullivan, <laughs> as I've said. Let's take it away with Annie. It's a day on the set of Something in the Air for two people. You'll get to watch filming, you'll get to meet the actors. Um, if you pick a day that I'm available to take you around, I'll take you around to editing, to where they post-produce the sound. Um, we can pop in and have a look at the newsroom at Channel 2. So this is going to be a, a guided tour, if a we can organise it on the yeah, day that you're a there. A guided tour, and it's a Wednesday, Thursday or Friday, any time between now and the 24th of August. This is amazing. Yeah, I'm it's be pretty $50. good. $50. Okay, we're going to go up in 25 so somebody $75, please. Yeah. I have 75 Do I see 100 I have 100 Do I see 125 yeah. 125 in the middle. Do I see 150 150 over here. Do I see 175 Somebody 175, please. Yep. 175 on my right. 175, do I see two? It's for two people. 175, do I see 200? Somebody 200, Bob. Do I see $200? An amazing day. How's the food at the canteen there's, there's at the $200. ABC? $200. 200 in the middle. We'll we have change to... the subject. <laughs> Bring your own lunch. <laughs> uh, <laughs> 200, I'm being in the middle. 200, do I see 225? I have 200 in the middle. Do I see 225? Somebody over here? 225, I have 200 in the middle. $200. Spend a day on the set of something in the air. I think that's wonderful. Somebody please, 225. I need $225. Somebody around here? I have, yes, uh, I have 200 in the here. middle. Where? 225. Oh, I have 225 indeed. 225. Okay. He's been told. He's, He's been told. told. <laughs> 225. Do we see 250? 225. Do I see 250? Somebody 250, please. Anybody $250? I have 225. 225. We repeat this 
lot yep. is going to the positive women. Okay, we're going to send this much money to them. Thank you. What? Two fifty. Thank you, David. In the middle there, I have two hundred and fifty dollars in the middle. Two hundred and fifty. Do I see two seventy-five? I'm looking for two seventy-five. A day on the set at the ABC, a guided tour around the station, and get to meet the actors and find out what's going to be on in three months' time. Mm. I reckon two fifty. Two fifty. I think two fifty. We've, we've got two fifty, haven't we, Anna? Yes. Yeah. I would like two seventy-five. Would anyone like to do two seventy-five for me? I would like to. No, I have two fifty. Two fifty in the centre. Two fifty with you. Yep. Two fifty. Yes. Mm -hmm. Two fifty in the middle here. I have any advance on two fifty? Somebody two two seventy five. Going once at two hundred and fifty dollars. Going twice at two hundred and fifty dollars. All done. Sold. Thank you, gentlemen in the middle. Thank you very much. I look forward to seeing you on the set. Dale, thank you. The first prize is Shane Green's F69. The ticket is a green <laughs> F69 and first prize is Shane. We've got his phone number on here. Is Shane here? Would you like to come up so I can give it to you? First prize, $1,900 worth of prizes. My God, how special is that? Come here, Shane. Oh, look, talk about mutton dressed as lamb. Come here, Shane. These denim jackets went out of fashion years ago. Now, you've just won this fantastic prize. I'm sure you'd like to address all of these people. Look at them. They're just waiting for you to sound like a dickhead. Come on, say something nice. Uh, wait. Good! <laughs> You didn't disappoint us. Congratulations on behalf of Ben TV and Joy Melbourne. And Dale as well. You better take your ticket back just so that we can prove... Oh shit, I'm sorry, I blew it. But congratulations, Shane, that's fantastic. You've got... Look at the painting you've got. Can you just see yourself coming home at 4am pissed to look at that? It's going to be great, isn't it? Second prize winner, because I know I always like to hog it. Uh, it's a purple ticket. It's an E. And, <coughs> it's a purple E. I haven't had E before. They were just expensive Panadol. Uh, a purple E, number 97. And the name is Mark Cook. Is Mark here, E97? Some girl said bingo over here. I've never met a girl called Mark before. You never know here. Is, any, is, is Mark here anyway? You think so? No, you never know here. We welcome everybody here, don't we? Yeah, Mark's obviously not here, but congratulations to Mark. He has won the second prize. Congratulations to Mark. Yes. Thank you. Feeling, who I think is making her way down now as we speak. Here we go. How'd you oh, go? Oh, that was good fun. Yeah. Oh, I've got to go back now though. Okay, so I'll say goodbye. Thank you so Bye. much for coming in today. Remember, something in the air, 7.30. Saturday night. Watch it. Okay. okay. All right. So that's it from the fair today. Take this chance to say thank you to everybody that uh, you've seen on camera today. Everyone, oh, there's even people that weren't here before. So that's been it. I hope you've enjoyed today. Um, we've enjoyed bringing it to you live here from the Yarra <laughs> Gay and Lesbian Street Fair here in Collingwood. Uh, stay tuned for more Bent TV tonight. And there's someone mouthing something to me behind the camera, and you'd think after. And now we're going to see a performance that we taped earlier, so stay tuned here. Bed TV, Channel 31. It's your community station.
This program is proudly sponsored by DT's Hotel, where every colour of the rainbow drinks, corner of Hyatt and Church Streets, Richmond. For the Channel 31, subscribe us on A. Okay, so that was the fabulous Molly Meldrum and Sally Goldner, our own roving reporter here on the street at the uh, Yarra City Queer and Lesbian Gay Transgender Festival in Peel Street. And uh, now we're going to see the fabulous Annie Phelan. I had to think about what I was doing then. And she's on stage at the Laird Auction and she's auctioning off that fabulous day for two on the set oh, of Something in the, the Air. air. No, Good to I meet all those boys. Uh, Sullivan, <laughs> as I've said. Let's take it away with Annie. It's a day on the set of Something in the Air for two people. You'll get to watch filming, you'll get to meet the actors. Um, if you pick a day that I'm available to take you around, I'll take you around to editing, to where they post-produce the sound. Um, we can pop in and have a look at the newsroom at Channel 2. So this is going to be a, a guided tour, if a we can organise tour. it on the yeah, day that you're a there. A guided tour, and it's a Wednesday, Thursday or Friday, any time between now and the 24th of August. This is amazing. Yeah, I'm it's pretty $50. good. $50. Okay, we're going to go up in 25 so somebody $75, please. Yeah. I have 75 Do I see 100 I have 100 Do I see 125 125 in the middle. Do I see 150 150 over here. Do I see 175 Somebody 175, please. 175 on my right. 175, do I see two? It's for two people. 175, do I see 200? Somebody 200, Bob. Do I see $200? An amazing day. How's the food at the canteen there's, there's at the ABC? There's a $200. 200 in the middle. We'll we have change to... the subject. <laughs> Bring your own lunch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 200, I'm beat in the middle. 200, do I see 225? I have 200 in the middle. Do I see 225? Somebody over here? 225, I have 200 in the middle. $200. Spend a day on the set of something in the air. I think that's wonderful. Somebody please, 225. I need 225 dollars. Somebody around here? I have, yes, I have 200 in the here. middle. Where? 225. I have 225 indeed. 225. Okay. He's been told. He's, He's been told. told. <laughs> 225. Do we see 250? 225. Do I see 250? Somebody 250 please. Anybody 250 dollars? I have 225. 225. We repeat this lot yep. is going to the positive women. Okay, we're going to send this much money to them. Thank you. What? Two fifty. Thank you, David. In the middle there, I have two hundred and fifty dollars in the middle. Two hundred and fifty. Do I see two seventy-five? I'm looking for two seventy-five. A day on the set at the ABC, a guided tour around the station, and get to meet the actors and find out what's going to be on in three months' time. Mm. I reckon two fifty. 250. I think 250. We've got good. 250, haven't we, Anna? Yeah. I would like 275. Would anyone like to do 275 for me? I would like to. No, I have 250. 250 in the centre. 250 with you. Yep. 250. Yes. Mm -hmm. 250 in the middle here. I have any advance on 250. Somebody to 275. Going once at 250 dollars. Going twice at 250 dollars. All done, sold. Thank you, gentlemen in the middle. Thank $250. you very much. I look forward to seeing you on the set. Dale, thank you. The first prize is Shane Green's F69. The ticket is Green F69 and first prize is Shane. We've got his phone number on here. Is Shane here? Would you like to come up so I can give it to you? First prize, $1,900 worth of prizes. My God, how special is that? Come here, Shane. Oh, look, talk about Martin dressed as lamb. Come here, Shane. These denim jackets went out of fashion years ago. Now, you've just won this fantastic prize. I'm sure you'd like to address all of these people. Look at them. They're just waiting for you to sound like a dickhead. Come on, say something nice. Uh, wait, wait. Good! <laughs> You didn't disappoint us. Congratulations on behalf of Ben TV and Joy Melbourne. And Dale as well. <laughs> you better take your ticket back just so that we can prove... Oh shit, I'm sorry, I blew it. But congratulations, Shane, that's fantastic. You've got... Look at the painting you've got. Can you just see yourself coming home at 4am pissed to look at that? <laughs> it's going to be great, isn't it? Second prize winner, because I know I always like to hog it. 
Uh, it's a purple ticket. And it's an E. And, uh, it's a purple E. I haven't had E before. They were just expensive Panadol. Uh, a purple E, number 97. And the name is Mark Cook. Is Mark here, E97? Some girl said bingo over here. I've never met a girl called Mark before. You never know here. Is, any, is, is Mark here anyway? You think so? No, you never know here. We welcome everybody here, don't we? Yep. Mark's obviously not here, but congratulations to Mark. He has won the second prize. Congratulations to Mark. Yes. Feeling, who I think is making her way down now as we speak. Oh. Here we go. How'd you oh, go? Oh, that, uh, that was good fun. Yeah. Oh, I've got to go back now though. Yeah. Okay, so I'll say goodbye. Thank you so Bye. much for coming in today. Remember, something in the air, 7.30. Saturday nights. Watch it. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right. So that's it from the fair today. Take this chance to say thank you to everybody that uh, you've seen on camera today. Everyone, oh, there's even people that weren't here before. So that's been it. I hope you've enjoyed today. Um, we've enjoyed bringing it to you live here from the Yarra <laughs> Gay and Lesbian Street Fair here in Collingwood. Uh, stay tuned for more Bent TV tonight. And there's someone mouthing something to me behind the camera, and you'd think after. And now we're going to see a performance that we taped earlier. So stay tuned here, Ben TV, Channel 31. It's your community station. This program is proudly sponsored by DT's Hotel, where every colour of the rainbow drinks, corner of Hyatt and Church Streets, Richmond.